The transaction announced by RWE and Eon will transform RWE in one fell swoop into one of the leading companies in the field of renewable energy in Europe and the USA. Two portfolios will be united and expertise and experience will be pooled. Together, renewables will be stronger under RWE. But there's even more to it. The group as a whole will be stronger and more future-proof. Through the transaction, RWE will become number three in renewables in Europe and number two in offshore wind. But this is a major step that definitely raises questions, such as, why does it make sense to combine energies and EON's renewables divisions? How do EON's and energy's portfolios complement each other? What role will the combined renewables business play at RWE? These are the questions that will be answered in the next few minutes. As soon as EON's and Energy's renewables divisions come together, a leading player will be born in the offshore, onshore, solar, and battery business in Europe, the USA, and other selected growth regions with critical mass and financial clout, two key prerequisites for success and it will be competitive from day one. This is only possible with competent, motivated employees. In other words, with people who are already doing outstanding work, day in, day out, and in adherence to a tight schedule. The first closing is expected as soon as the relevant authorities have issued their regulatory approvals, roughly in the middle of 2019. Then, Eon will be Energy's majority shareholder. Following that, EONS and Energy's renewables operations will be transferred to RWE. This is when the era of the new RWE begins. Taking a look at the technologies that Energy and EON are working with today and how they complement each other shows that the real value of the two divisions combined is much higher than the sum of the gigawatt hours they produce. On the strength of the combined portfolio consisting of EON's 1.4 gigawatts and Energy's 1.1 gigawatts in capacity, RWE will immediately advance to the number two spot in offshore wind worldwide. Added to this are projects such as the Triton Knoll project in the United Kingdom and the Kaskazi project in Germany. Energy just won the contract for both of them. And of course, we mustn't forget EON's Arcona project off the German island of Rügen, and Energy's 50% stake in the Dublin Array in Ireland. They all demonstrate the great prospects in this area. This coupling of companies is nothing short of ideal for the U.S. onshore wind business. E.ON, with an operational portfolio of more than 3 gigawatts, has already established itself as a player on the U.S. market and has a robust pipeline with a capacity of 5.9 gigawatts. The pipeline acquired by Energy, which has a volume of 2 gigawatts, complements the Eon pipeline very well. This will enable us to widen our regional footprint and continue to grow in this important market. Eon and Energy have similar setups in the EU onshore business, albeit with different points of focus. Eon has, amongst others, modern wind turbines in Italy and Scandinavia, as does Energy in Germany, the Netherlands, and on the Iberian Peninsula, amongst others. The two companies are equally strong in both Poland and Great Britain. Bringing the European markets together in a single company and bundling the expertise with regards to these markets creates an excellent position from which to continue growing the wind energy business in these regions. The combined operational portfolio of E.ON and Energy has a volume of approximately 3 gigawatts. In addition, there is a combined project pipeline with around 3 gigawatts. In solar, Eon's business in the USA is a perfect fit for the engineering, procurement, and construction expertise of Energy's subsidiary, Belectric. Belectric, as a specialist for utility-scale solar power installations, allows further growth options in this sector. Examples are the Lemondale and Hilston ground-mounted solar development projects in Australia, which have a total capacity of over 460 megawatts. Services provided to third parties will also benefit from this. Eon's forte in this area is the wind business, from operations and maintenance 
to plant management and energy services. Energy offers operations and maintenance services on the solar market through Bellectric, but it gets even better. Bellectric is already successful in the battery business, which is becoming an increasingly competitive advantage in combination with new solar and wind power plants. Scale is a major success factor in the field of renewable energy. On the strength of its renewables portfolio, the combined figures positions RWE amongst the top five worldwide players in both wind and solar. Our installed capacity in this field will then exceed 8 gigawatts. After the transition is completed, renewables will make the largest contribution to earnings. In sum, they will account for roughly 60% of EBITDA, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. And of course, RWE's energy mix will change. Strong renewable energies and a flexible conventional power plant fleet. Activities in the key technologies, namely power to gas, power to liquid, and large-scale batteries will ensure our compatibility with the future. RWE CEO Rolf Martin Schmitz underlines, Renewable energies and conventional power generation are two sides of the same coin, and we will have them both under one roof, an energy transition with security of supply. This is the future RWE, or in other words, we are powering, reliable, future.